what flyover country entails is is the Tehachapi making their way over to uh, linear India and coming to Bengaluru and building their kind of musical road which floated above um, the ground and then Kula Larsa comes on scene. Yeah, the stone arrived here about a month and a half ago and uh, we can see that they've ground different surfaces. Um, what we did today was to actually mark one surface onto the stone. Kulev Larsa was this strong woman who was, she was wandering and there was a war happening. And the war was between people who believed in the gods and then the people who uh, believed in the worlds. So Kulev Larsa, she tricked the gods into ending the war, but the gods did find out that she had manipulated them. That angered the gods. The gods cursed her with the inability to speak. And so she couldn't speak to anyone except for herself. So what they're going to do right now is get that maximum size cuboid. Then they can grind things out. For her heroism in helping stop the war, the people who had recruited her gave her a saber-toothed tiger. I don't know how to pronounce it very well. Gin cats? Additionally, the saber-toothed tiger, it's literate. So it can read, it can, you know, it can speak, it understands language. And so it was kind of a perfect companion for Kulev. Things are getting exciting, but I'm also thinking of the timeline. There is a moment where Kulev Larsa and her saber-toothed tiger, they are wandering through what we know as Bengaluru, and they come across a Tehachapik orchestra happening. And uh, the saber-toothed tiger decides to join in for a duet with the orchestra and, and she purrs a beautiful, thunderous duet with, with the Tehachapi. 